hello everybody welcome back to my channel this is harika so in previous video i have left you with an error statement right so here you can see that so let's say um i can say this video is a quick fix for that particular error and i'll show you how we can fix that error if you face this while doing certain actions around link query okay so before getting into the video i would ask you if you if you are jumping into the video without seeing the basics then i will uh, I, i would suggest you go back and watch the whole playlist on the link because that will give you enough understanding on the fundamentals so you don't miss out uh, anything in this video what we are doing okay so having said that uh, in this um, in this uh, query whatever we have written if you just observe we have a dt sum table right so it is showing object reference not set so uh, i'll tell you the possible ways that we can do to fix this query if you see the default value is not given but that's not the reason for this error so if uh, this sum table is having a different um, template right so we don't we haven't created any template for that so what i can do the first solution is creating a template for it and also let's say um <clears throat> if you create the template there are two things first you have to consider uh, there's a column name which is uh, a that we are passing that uh, you have to provide it in the template and the third one is the price whatever the price that you wanted to get it into your data table you have, you have to create that as well so these two things you have to create into your data table so for that what i'm going to do i'm going to use a build data table okay so let me edit this into item description and say okay and this too price change the data table type to string say okay got it right so change this output variable to sum table and then we are good so if you just run this now this shouldn't be an issue let me debug this file so just do step into and we are good so if you just observe we have the dt sum table right let me expand this so if you see we got all the information just like how we wanted it correct so just uh, do a step into and we can see the output in the table so this is how we can do uh, whenever you are writing this into a new data table make sure that it has a template so these are the key points that you should consider when whenever you encounter this issue so just make sure that you have whenever uh, you have a new data table that has a particular template how you want the output to be looking it as right so let's say if i want um this this you we all know let's say if i wanted to give uh, one more column just make sure you add that column as well into our data table otherwise it's going to throw one more error let's see what's that this is that we are trying to explore multiple other types of error because uh, whenever we face that we have an understanding like why this is coming up right so input array is longer than the number of the columns in this table so that means we are not uh, giving the symmetry between the data table that we are creating and the output that we are retrieving so for that what i'm going to do is just very simple add a one more column and say okay just pull this column to here and then save and debug we got it right so if you see the data table this is it so this is how uh, we can check the different um, errors that are coming up while using this particular query and this is a quick fix for that i hope you found this video useful because i have seen this question a lot asking in the forum as well many times so i thought this will be useful for you because instead of you know running around and seeing the code what exactly the issue is so If you found this video useful do let me know in the comment section and also do like the video and do subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching